Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month, you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month, along with instant access to every ASMR video I have ever posted over there. I also have an OnlyFans that you can check out, and if you're looking for a custom video, you can check out my Wizio page. And last but not least, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can do so by clicking the link tree link in my description box and you can use that same link tree link to check out all of the other things that I mentioned but now let's get into today's video hi can I help you find anything a particular book you you may be looking for mm-hmm I see Interesting. Okay, well, um, why don't you follow me over to my desk and I'll just place these down. I was just organizing some of the shelves that unfortunately have gone into disarray, but, um, yes, I can definitely help you. Please follow me. Wow. <laughs> So crazy. You look exactly like someone very close to me. It's almost uncanny. You may have noticed I was a little <sighs> caught off guard when I first saw you, but that is just... Crazy. So what was that book you were looking for? Um, so, it looks like s all copies have been taken out of the library, unfortunately. I could call one of our neighboring towns to see if they may have an available copy for you. Would you be okay driving? Or would you like to wait until someone returns their copy? Okay. You said it was The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Hello, this is Isabella calling um, regarding The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I was curious if you have a copy available on your shelves at the moment. Unfortunately, I have someone here looking for that particular book and all of our copies are on loan. Just checking. Thank you. That, that's fine. That is totally fine. Um, you, you have our number. Great. Bye. So, um, she is busy with someone right now, but she's going to check in a few minutes and give us a call back. Okay? So, I hope that is, you're not in a rush or anything. Feel free to peruse our shelves. Um, we do have some other great popular reads that are available that I could show you. Um, if you are interested in the guest list, you might find yourself liking The Silent Patient if you haven't read it yet. It's definitely a good read. Uh, I read it when it first hit shelves was a fan, and everyone I've recommended it to has enjoyed it as well. Um, in addition, The Wives, another 
scrapebook. Basically anything I recommend uh, to you right now will be similar to the guest list, that type of mystery, thriller, suspense type read. Just some options um, if you are looking for some things and left a receipt in our books, which I'm not a fan of when people do that, but you know, respect the books, don't just treat them like a place to throw your grocery store lists into. Despicable. I just cannot get over how similar you look to this individual I was talking about before. Um, not so much a friend of mine. Um, more so a character in my favorite book. The description, the details, literally down to the scar you have above your eyebrow is just so fitting. It's, do you mind? <laughs> Unreal. I am quite shocked. <sighs> this is my favorite book, and to the point that this character I have read over every physical description repeatedly of them and sketched what I believe they would look like, and it is basically a portrait of you. Would you like to see a picture? Let me show you. It's seriously uncanny. Now, don't deny it. Does that not look exactly like you? Yes, it does. Are you serious? Exactly like you. Come on. Take another look. Well, very well then. Guess we have different opinions, but I find you extraordinarily interesting. Something about you is just so reminiscent of <laughs> well, the character in the book's name is Xavier, so now that you're a little more familiar with it. It's not on shelves. probably never heard of it either. But trust me, if it was to become a major motion picture, you would need to play Xavier. <laughs> the funny thing is, the um, leading lady in its name is Caroline, so um, I have often compared myself to Caroline. <laughs> So it's almost as if we are the, the real deal of those two characters. Caroline is also a librarian and Xavier is a mysterious stranger that one day walks into a library in search of a particular book. Sound familiar? Hold on. She's calling. Did you find it? 
Mm. Okay. Well, thank you for checking. Bye. So, unfortunately, their copy is out as well. So, I can put you on our wait list. Or... It just so happens that the book you are in search for is one that I'm currently reading, and I would be willing to loan out my copy when I'm done. I only have about 23 more pages, so if you're willing to come back tomorrow, I'd be ready to hand it over by then, and maybe more willing to tell you about Caroline and Xavier's story, but for now, I believe it's better to just remain tight-lipped on the subject. Can I help you with anything else? Um, <laughs> okay, well, before you go, if that's all, do you mind if I just take a picture of you? I just can't get over the similarities between you and Xavier. It's startling. Smile pretty for the camera. <laughs> well, you are so handsome. Fine, fine. You've convinced me. <laughs> Without even asking or requesting, you've convinced me. You may have been wondering why I suddenly paused our conversation to be in typing. Like so. And the reason is quite simple. Xavier is a character in my book that I'm writing. Caroline is a character as well. I find it absolutely fascinating that you walked in right as I was getting to Caroline and Xavier's love story. <laughs> Makes me hesitant to let you leave. Maybe you would consider sticking around here for a little bit. I mean, the library is quite empty today, and we don't have to whisper, seeing as there's no one around. <laughs> and I would love to fine tune the physical details I've written about Xavier based on seeing the living thing in person. Oh, but you are. Even my imagination is not that good. I must have seen you around before to be writing in such accurate, precise detail about you. And it just so happens that Caroline is my middle name, so... Sorry, I'm getting a text from a potential publishing house. The novel's not done yet, but I sent them the first three chapters and they were hooked. <laughs> I 
you know, I better watch out. This might end up turning biographical. I think you know why. You walked through my doors today for much more than a book. I think we can both agree on that. There was palpable chemistry. It felt like fate when you walked in. Not simply you in search of a book. Don't get me wrong. I love books. Books are my everything. But you didn't come here for this. You came here for Caroline. You may be confused right now, but trust me, it'll all make sense. I think the key to unlocking this is for me to continue writing, to really figure out what our destiny is. You know what I'm saying? It's, um, not a simple outcome. A lot of factors at hand, such as are you in a relationship? Xavier has recently gotten out of a relationship when the stage is met for him to meet his Caroline. Mm. Very interesting. Well, I'm so, so glad that you walked through my library doors today. I know, in this moment, you may be confused. I've thrown a lot at you. There's a lot at stake here. But this was all part of the plan. I truly believe we are meant to be in each other's lives. And yes, 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 you came in get a book. But what your subconscious didn't know was that you, you really came here for me and for us. So, seeing as there's no one around, I might just be so bold as to Hello, this is our love story. Get on board. <sighs> it's fine. In my book, Xavier starts off, closed off, regarding love as well. So I'll just have to work on you. Come back tomorrow for that book and we can chat more. I'll be looking forward to it. I might have another chapter ready by tomorrow. Maybe I'll let you read the prologue. Toodles. Thank you all for watching. I'd like to take a moment to give a special shout out to my platinum tier patrons. Maneo, Kurt, Gentle Cloud, Sebastian.